everyone. Today I am going to read a story about a very, it's just a little story, but it has a big lesson. My name is Van. I learn in Chris class 3C6. Today I am going to read the story, The Prince and His Magic Amulet. Well, the prince was heartbroken when he realized the amulet was gone. He searched high and low, but he could not find it. He began to lose hope and became distressed, withdrawn. But one day, while walking through the forest, the prince came across a white old owl. Hello, hello, room prince. Why do you look so sad? Oh, wise owl, I have lost my magic amulet, and I do not know how I will ever be happy again. Do not despair, young prince, for the amulet was not your, the source of happiness. It was your own kindness, compassion, and pure heart that truly make you happy. But how can I be happy without the amulet? The amulet may have granted your wishes, but it was your own action that brought joy to others. You can continue to spread happiness with even without the amulet. The friends thought about the owl's words and realized he was right. He had always found joy in helping others, and he realized that he should did not need that amulet anymore. So the prince went on a journey to spread love and kindness. As he traveled, he found that he was happier than he has ever been before. As he traveled, he encountered many people and animals in need of help. And with each chance of act, the prince made, all of the acts made the prince happier. He helped, an, he saved some kitties from a, a uh, barn. He even taught to lost children to find their way home. As the prince re revelation for kindness and compassion shared around the world, more and more people and animals came for help. And the prince, with the help of his friends, was always there to lend a happy helping hand. But as much as the prince enjoyed the the help sharing he also missed his magic amulet he often thought where can it be one day as the prince was walking through the forest he heard a faint voice calling out to him prince prince can you hear me prince the prince followed the voice until he came, became him upon a small pond and there, floating on the surface, was his magic amulet. Prince, I am so glad that you have found me. I have been waiting here for you. Amulet, is it really you? I can't believe it. Yes, it is me, your magic amulet. I had been lost for so long, but I knew you would find me. How did you get here? A group of mysterious shies found me and played a trick on me. They hid me in this enchanted pond. But now that you have found me, I can return to grant your wishes once again. Amulet, I don't need to, you to grant any of your my wishes anymore. I have learned that happiness comes with an I can spread joy and kindness to others without the use of magic. Oh, Prince, you have truly grown and learned the value of compassion. You no longer need me to grant your wishes, for you have the power to make your own happiness. Thank you, Amulet. I will always cherish you, but I think it's time for you to return that with the gods, the ones that true possess your magic. Yes, I will return with the gods, but now, uh, but now I will protect you in heaven. The prince takes the amulet and sends it back to the gods. As he continued his journey, he knew he had the power to make his own happiness and the happiness of those around him. This is the end of the story. Goodbye!